you see this multicam case, you know there's gonna be something good inside. What's inside? It's the L3 Harris BNVD, more commonly known as the PBS31 Alpha. We're gonna do a full overview of this goggle, what you get, all the good features. Let's get into it. So, all L3 Harris goggles at this time come in this padded case. It's a multicam case, it's got your goggles, your kit, your battery pack, all that good stuff. And just so you guys can see how it ships from the factory, we've got one right here. This is brand new. This is one of our demo sets, but this one's brand new sealed from the factory. So if you order from us, you are going to get that sealed in this plastic bag. And that's how we really want you guys to get it because let's be honest, if it's not sealed, it could have been messed with and it's not that factory fresh goggle that you really want. So anytime you buy an L3 Harris finished good from us or one of our dealers, you will see that it is sealed in that factory bag still, but let's get into the good stuff. So open it up. First thing that you're obviously going to notice is your goggles. To get to them, you're going to have to dig out your, your batteries and your eye cups, but we don't really recommend using the eye cups because it limits your, uh, your peripheral vision. So goggles, you'll see that all L3 Harris PBS 31 alphas, they ship with the bikini covers, which is really nice because these protect your lenses and they come with one retainer band on the back. We do recommend putting a, uh, like a ranger band, a thin ranger band up front. So you don't have your uh, bikini covers flipped all the way out to the side, but that's something that's easy. You can pick those up on Amazon just by searching ranger band. That's where we get them. So first thing you're going to notice the L3 Harris BNBD PBS 31 alpha is a full articulating night vision binocular. So you're going to have both eyes aided. You are going to have that full articulation range at the hinge here on the, uh, on the housing. So what's great about that is when you've got your goggles on your mount, all you got to do is just flip them up out to the side and you don't have to completely flip up your, your night vision mount. So articulation is a really nice feature. So just run in front to back. They're powered by either a single AA battery or the cold weather battery pack, which you can see on this helmet. We will get into that in a second. Um, it does have a dovetail mounting system. So any dovetail night vision mount like a G24, which is what we typically recommend. It's just going to slide right in there on your helmet and secure very nicely. Talking about security, you do have two tether points on the rear of the goggle. So if you're using something like an OpsCore SF with the modular bungee shroud, you can clip right into there or really any other retention system. You've got that, uh, that tether point on the front. You'll notice the glass looks a little different than other goggles you may have seen. That's because the PBS 31 and actually the GPNVG both use the same objective lens. So this is a proprietary lens. It's just used by L3 on those systems. But what's great about this is one, it has a sacrificial lens. It's built in. The sacrificial lens is interchangeable. And uh, so if you damage that first piece, you can switch that out. No big deal. Also, this objective lens is responsible for really giving you a heightened system resolution over a standard PBS uh, 14 optic that you would find on a PBS 14 or most of your other common night vision binoculars. So the glass really sets the system apart. And that's one thing that we want to explain to people and really to understand is one of the reason that the PBS 31 alpha is going to be more expensive than say like a BNVD 1531 is because of the glass, you're going to get your weight savings from the glass and you're also going to get your system resolution because when you take a tube and you drop this tube into a system, you still have two pieces of glass, your front and your rear, that's going to have cut down on the overall resolution because light has to go through it and it is still something that you're viewing through. So that upgrade in glass is going to be noticeable and it is something that's a really nice feature of this. Then moving to the rear, you've got your, talking about glass, you've got your ocular lens. So the ocular lens here is a fixed diopter and it comes with a negative 0.5 diopter insert, but you can change these out. So these just twist off and you can set them to your eye with the diopter kit, but they come standard with a negative 0.5 diopter. And truthfully guys, that works for 99% of people. If your vision is very out there, you may have to switch it out, but this, uh, this fixed diopter is going to save you weight and it's just going to give you a great system resolution combined with the objective lens. Like we talked about in the front, other features you'll see is you've got the IPD stops right here built in. So what that does is as you set these goggles to your eye and once they're, once they're down, you're viewing through them, you set your IPD stop. So you can see, for instance, I'll back this one completely out on the left side and see how far this pod goes in and the right side, we've got an adjustment so we can, we can move that further. So it doesn't go in anymore. So what that does is when you set those and you articulate your goggles up, you can just pull the pods right back down the right where you want them to be. And that is integrated into the housing and into the system. So that's a great feature to have. 
Um, other than that, you will have a uh, port right here. This is where your battery pack cable plugs in and super easy. One thing that we want to always emphasize is the battery pack is not actually just for increased runtime. It is technically called the cold weather battery pack and that is because in cold weather you do get an extended runtime um, over just a single battery because cold weather can negatively affect your battery life. Um, but really the plug and play nature, you don't have to have a battery in the system to run it. You literally just drop it on your, um, I'll show you right here. You just drop it right on your G24, boom. And then simply plug in right to here as such. So very simple and really very nice on the, on the plug and play. We'll come back to this in a second. Most important feature and our favorite feature of this goggle is something this power knob does. It gives you manual gain capability. And manual gain is all positive, no cons. And that's just the flat out honest truth because a manual gain system, what that's gonna do is that gives you the ability to give yourself a true dynamic range adjustment of your brightness for the system. So when you have really dark conditions and you need to kick the gain up, then you can do that and that's just gonna turn your brightness up. Or if you've got very high light conditions and you wanna turn your gain far down, you can do that as well. And the thing with manual gain is that's super important. Your eye is when you're blasting light into your eye, it's gonna fatigue faster. So the brighter the light that you're blasting your eye, which essentially is you know coming from your night vision, it's gonna fatigue your eye faster. You're going to have less of your natural eyesight, so your peripheral vision when you're looking out to the right and the left of your goggle outside of your tubes. You're gonna have more capability with your natural eyesight if you have a, a dimmer image coming through your goggles. Also, if you get a lot of noise in your system, you can just turn down that manual gain and it will decrease the noise as well. So manual gain is just a huge feature. We're huge proponents of it and we love that the PBS 31 Alpha has that, um, has that feature because we love manual gain and it's definitely something that's important to consider when you're purchasing a, a night vision goggle if that's gonna be something that you benefit. So other than that, it's very simple control. You just simply push and uh, it'll turn on the system. You can hold it and it'll turn it off. And then if you want to disengage the uh, feature when you flip these up on your mount, they do turn off, but you can disengage that. So if you're jumping um, or if you're looking up and down in different aspects and that comes into a problem, you just click this power button five times and you turn it off. So very nice feature. If you wanna use it, you got it. If not, you don't need it. But um, everything is controlled by this single power button, which is, which is easy and at night, it's one of those things. You're gonna be doing things by feel. So just having that one singular control right there is a great option. So let's get into the battery pack next. The battery pack comes in the top of this. You've got your Velcro on the rear and you've got a strobe function up top, which is functioned by this piece right here, this switch. And so you don't have to have a power power switch on this. This is not to control the power going to the goggle. It is simply to control the strobe function. So you can see this, this is an LED based strobe. Um, so you can see a very, very dim red light when it is on, it is not a laser based um, diode. So you will have a little bit of visibility to the naked eye, but it is very, very dim. And that's something that's, that's easy to use. If you want to just lean back, flip the switch and you're good to go. To go with that in there, you've got your, well, we've got it on this helmet actually. You've got your cable. So your cable's gonna come in your in your system case right here and that's something that you're gonna attach to, uh, attach to your helmet so you can secure that very easily. And it plugs just right into the back of your cold weather battery pack. Also in here, you're gonna have your user manuals. We've got your quick reference guide. You've got your main user manual. And then it comes with this lens tissue. Truthfully, we don't recommend to use this guys because the lens tissue actually can scratch your, go your uh, glass. So it's not something we recommend to use. You're also gonna have the Wilcox amber filters. Truthfully, throw these in trash, you'll never use them. The, um, this just really cuts down on your image quality and it's, it's not something that we would recommend to use. Um, however, they do come in that. So, and then like I said, you've got your, your batteries. So really diving into the simplicity of the battery pack and how it goes on here. Like we said, I mean, it is literally drag and drop. So you just go right there, boom, come around. You, you'll see there's a little white dot on here that you just index right with the white dot 
on the uh, system, boom, plug in, you're good to go. And what's nice about that again is you don't have to worry about flipping the battery cap because we don't recommend you to store your goggles with a battery in it. And that quick just drop, plug in, good to go is something that we like. But overall, the L3 PBS 31 Alpha is standard issue US SOCOM. It is an iconic goggle. It is a very high performing goggle. Even though it's not the newest goggle on the market, we would still call this the king of night vision goggles because it is so feature rich and it um, has amazing image quality. We did go into the glass, but we offer these as far as tubes. These come with a L3 unfilmed white phosphor 2376 minimum foam image intensifier tube, and that's gonna be the, the highest spec that L3 is, is currently offering for uh, the commercial and law enforcement markets, and also what is standard issue US SOCOM. So you've got an incredible tube in there, you've got your unfilmed white phosphor paired with your awesome optics of the PBS 31 Alpha, you're just gonna get as good of an image quality, quality as you really can out on the market. Um, combined with the features, you get you get an awesome package. So although not the cheapest system out there, it is you get what you pay for and your money is very well spent if this is something that you deem to, to work well with your applications. Other than that though, that's the, the down and dirty on the L3 PBS 31 Alpha. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and uh, that's full blown overview. See you next time.